Hello everyone, I am Triple OJ, and welcome to Brain Food at the Movies. Well, I just got back from seeing Iron Man 3 a couple hours ago, and I'm just letting everything you know, stir around my head so I can think it over, and quite frankly, I think it's the best of the three Iron Man movies. It's the absolute best, you know. Two thumbs up, uh, definitely a, a solid B-plus movie. And one of the things that really struck me was that, well, frankly, Whoever the hell they have in charge of making those trailers, they should be fired or relegated to another department because that was some of the most misleading trailers I've ever seen, especially for setting the tone of the movie. This movie is not a dark and gritty and grim cinematic feature that the trailers made it out to be. It's simply not. You know, it's um, it's, it's definitely tense. It's definitely dramatic, and there are lots of and there are a good amount of twists and turns and surprises. And some of them I really can't even talk about without majorly spoiling the movie for you. What I can say though is that it's, well, I mean, it's a Marvel movie, and it is really funny. Uh, the use of humor by Robert Downey Jr. or heck, just by everyone throughout the movie was very well placed and it helped to break up the drama and just keep it from being super dark and serious which frankly after Dark Knight Rises we kinda need not every one of your stupid frigging superhero movies has to be dark grim and gritty and I say that especially after seeing the Man of Steel trailer are they ever gonna call him Superman in that? what is Superman to kiddish for a superhero movie. Oh, Jesus. Actually, if you want, go check out a really excellent article written by Greg Rucka, uh, who expresses concerns about the Man of Steel movie being rated PG-13. Oh, and I got this. See, just look at that. Iron Patriot. Which, it was a really nice way to have that in there, which you can honestly see believe, you know, the United States government doing something like that. After all, you know, they have a character named Captain America who dresses up like the flag, and they got this. Uh, again, I can't really say a lot about what goes on without majorly spoiling it. What I can say, though, uh, what I, I, I do want to have one major point that, one major thing that I, well, not even major, minor, but it's still something that I found a touch irritating was that they did not utilize Don Cheeto as much as they showed up. Um, there, there was some debate, I remember, when they brought in Don Cheeto to replace uh, uh, Mr. Lawrence in uh, Iron Man 2 as Jeffrey Rhodes, uh, John Rhodes. I'm getting my names mixed up, sorry. And, and the thing is, um, Don Cheadle played really well off of Robert Downey Jr. He's, he's, he's the kind of actor that can bring uh, a strength to the screen to rival Robert Downey Jr.'s and, you know, uh, and made for really good chemistry uh, between them. It's one of the uh, good points that I believe Iron Man 2 had. And you had that here as well. Unfortunately, they don't utilize uh, Don Cheadle as much as I wish they did. Yeah. But the good news is that when he has the camera on him, sorry, that's just all my stuff over here. When he has the camera on him, he steals the show. The moments that he's in are fantastic. I, ju I just wish he had a few more of those. And, my God, I've got to turn off all those announcements and notifications from Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and I can't say much about the Mandarin. Except that it's not... No, wait. I'm sorry, I can't even... Just that you're going to be really surprised by the Mandarin. And I was like, wow, they went there. And because uh, there have also been some criticism about the Mandarin being you know, a racist stereotype played by a white guy. And to be truthful, the Mandarin character was always really problematic. He was, you know, you know the yellow menace, the, you know, from Soviet China... And, against the evil, I'm, god damn it, I've got to turn those announcements off, you know, against the, the good and pure Tony Stark, America, blah, 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 uh, and 
what they do with the character is just brilliant. I can't. God damn it! I, I've really got to turn that fucking thing off. Anyway, what they do with the character is really brilliant. It, it's wow! It's just fantastic what they did with him. And Ben Kingsley, ah, uh, God. I have honestly never seen him do this kind of role. It's, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> when he's on screen with Robert Downey Jr., it's fantastic. And Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts, there's some good stuff in there for her too. Oh, jeez. You know, it, we all know that she's in the armor. You see it in the trailer. I won't say for how much. It was kind of a shame. I... Uh, one thing I will say is that you don't get to see her as a rescue, which was the character she became in the comics, and uh, what as everyone calls the 616 universe of Marvel Comics. She doesn't become rescue, which is a bit of a shame. That's good Lord. You hear that a lot here in Burnaby, people test driving their vehicles. Have some good beer here, too. Uh, and so overall, the trailer totally misdirects you in the kind of tone this movie takes. And uh, while there's not as much suit action as there was in Iron Man 2, what there is, it's really good, it's really funny. And if you're a comic book fan like me, like if you've seen the trailer with art where the old fly in, there are actually some shots after that happens where you get to see some of the other suits and I recognize them from the comics. Like, I believe it's the... Oh, man. What is the Mark 1, 2, 3, 4? The Mark 5, I believe, was from the early 80s. The Mark 5 makes an appearance, which is really good. And there's even one that kind of looks like the Hulk Buster, which was pretty damn cool to see. So you get to see that. Uh, lots of back and forth. Again, lots of humor. And you have to stay for after the credits. Stay for after the credits, because there is a scene there that I believe was made specifically for Tumblr fans of a certain pairing that cropped up after the Avengers movie came out. It, it has to do with science, and those of you who know, well, you know what I mean by that. But you stay, you stay. It's really, really good. Uh, Shane Black, the director, he did great in this movie. And, oh, God damn it. Oh, jeez. You can never put a stop on cameras and phones, I mean phones and everything there. Uh, actually, I probably should have just turned it off. That would have helped. So, anyhow, aside from, you know, them not utilizing Don Cheeto as much as I wish they did, it was a great Marvel movie. Very, very solid. Some stuff takes a bit of stretching your imagination. Uh, you'll see why when it gets to it. But otherwise, it's really, really good. And, jeez. Oh, Again, what they did with the Mandarin was great. I mean, it was just fantastic. I, you can't get any better than what they did with the Mandarin. It's... Oh, man. I honestly didn't think they were going to go there. I seriously did not think about it. Oh, and the, again, the after credits scene. Stay for it. I'm Trooper J. That's all I got left to say. Take care.